If you drive around the bay, you may see prices for gas that seem lower than the average. But if you don't take time to read the small print, you may be in for a... Um, it said like maybe four fifteen a gallon, and then um, actually I used my uh, credit card or my uh, debit card, and I ended up paying like maybe four twenty or four twenty five a gallon, something like that. Surprise! Well, once in a while I'll see a price up there, and it's it, they don't list side by side. They don't list the cash and credit price, but then once you look here. The price is totally different from what you saw seen up there, maybe like 10, 15 cents more. When I asked him how it made him feel, his response? Uh, cheated. You know, because I, I was thinking I'm going to be paying one thing, I end up paying something else. But then they have all this like kind of like fine print you see on, on things, so then it kind of, they cover their bases. So you really have to read the fine print when getting gas. For example... Yes, how much are you paying for your gas per gallon? Per gallon? Uh, four, what? 425. Are you sure? Yeah. 425. That's all you're paying? That's it. No more than that? Oh, a 35 cent fee. Oh, uh, so how much are you paying for your gas? So 35 cents more than I should be paying. <laughs> but what if you use your debit card? That should be considered cash, right? But, and I see the sign on the little bump here that says debit's not the same as cash. It's kind of a surprise. Some stations post huge signs with low prices, then in teeny tiny letters, they say that's the cash price. A great price, uh, but then you look at the, at the price, and you find out it's uh, cash and uh, credit. Credit card, people don't know. They can't, it's very, very tiny. You can barely see it. On the Peninsula, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.